So, you got a sprite sheet, but you need it to be animated as a Niagara particle. Not a problem. First, make a new material, hold T to left click and create a new texture parameter, and set it to your sprite sheet. I'm just going to be using the default cloud one that comes with Unreal 5 in the starter content. Then click your material, change shaded mode to translucent, right click, add a particle color, then hold M and left click to add a multiply. Then connect everything together like so. Perfect. Save. Then right click, create a new Niagara particle. We'll just start with the hanging particle. And for efficiency, we'll set sim target to GPU, bounce to fixed, change spawn rate to something like 650, lifetime to 0.7 and 1.75. And just so we can see things clearly, set random uniform to 600 and 1050. Okay, cool. So from this point, to add a sprite sheet to your particle, at the bottom under renderer, switch the material to your sprite sheet material. And under sub UV, this should be the dimensions of your sheet. So our sheet is eight images wide, and eight images long, so we will put eight and eight. Then go up and add a sub UV animation and set sprite renderer to sprite renderer. And bam, you're technically done. Now your particle should be using your sprite sheet to animate. Now this next part is a bit of a bonus and I learned how to do this from watching code like me. So if you want to see the full tutorial, definitely check him out. But basically from this point, we can make the clouds look like they're being sucked into a black hole by going to shape location and changing the shape to torus. Change large radius to 1200, handle radius to 300 and set transform order to scale offset rotate. Then set rotation mode to axis angle we can delete the wind force and the aerodynamic drag add a normal drag and then set both these values to 0.5 then add a vortex force change force amount to 900 and pull amount to 2500 and set vortex axis to the system x axis turn on vortex origin offset and change that to system x axis as well then check use influence fall off and set these numbers to 4002 then delete the old scale sprite size and replace it with a fresh one. Then change mode to non-uniform and on the drop down set it to vector 2D from curve. And then change the first Y value to 0.4 and 0.7 and now it'll look like it's being stretched as it gets to the middle. So now you have a really cool black hole cloud effect which is using an animated sprite sheet for movement. And it looks particularly cool if you add the black hole effect that we made a few videos ago on top of it. Hope that helps and as always hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.